Welcome everyone. This is the Jenkins UX Special Interest Group. It's the 14th of April, not the 13th. Um, topics that I knew about on the list, pending UX changes. Tim won't be able to join us today. He's not feeling well, um, but we could talk that briefly. Multiple pipelines for a multi-branch job. And Uli, since you're here, I had one on Jenkins online meetup for um, dev environment setup. Okay. Um, I think you and I had talked about it briefly in an earlier call, and I wanted to, if we could spend some of your time today to talk a little bit more about it, just to be sure you're okay, and then I'll take the lead on configure, proposing it, abstract, etc. Just wanted to be sure that I'm not going, doing something you're, you, you say, I can't even do that remotely, Mark. Anything else to put on the agenda? Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm still there because of my children, but if it's possible, I would like to talk about a project I am having with a student. It's about a pull request view for Jenkins. So it's- Excellent, yeah. okay. Great, okay. Well, and I would propose there is nothing wrong with us changing the order of things in this agenda. I'd put you first on the list, Uli, and, and let you talk to that, unless, Damien, you have a strong objection opposing that. Okay, then let's, Uli, let's do that. Any other agenda topics we should put on the list? Okay, and I'm going to shift this one up as well, Uli, just to ensure that while you're, while yeah. we're confident you're available, we've got it and then if surprises happen okay go ahead share with us so um, actually we have or maybe it's a good idea i share the uh, i can't share my screen can you let me share my screen oh no okay it's possible now so let's see um i think everybody knows uh, the details of Jenkins. So we have typically projects where we have branches and pull requests. And when I, or my warnings plugin, I'm always looking in the project view. That means I step into one of these projects. And then you see here a lot of, yeah, let's say uh, trend charts, etc. This is the project level. And then we have the build level where we can see the details for each build. And I think one important thing is totally missing in Jenkins, and that is a view where you see the details of a pull request. And let's jump a little bit here. So let's pick a pull request here, just so I can, um, okay, all are broken. I don't know why. So I, I just pick one. So if we open a pull request, what we see here in Jenkins is the same semantics as in, yeah, in all other jobs. We have here a few of the job, which actually is the pull request. And you see, this is basically the same view. There is nothing special in it. That means we have here a trend. And this is the trend of a pull request, which makes no sense in my yeah, opinion. And if I go into the details, I see the details for the builds of the pull request. And here we also see a lot of details, which are actually not related to the pull request, which are related to the master branch. So what I started yeah, some time ago, uh, for instance, I have such a reference build where we can see uh, which is the branching point in the master. And then we have a lot of warnings and yeah, additional things from the coverage reports, the tests, and yeah, from Git, we also have some information. And one thing which is missing, I think, is to have some kind of delta information for a pull request. So I want to see which, for instance, here from Git, I want to see what are the commits I've done since I started my pull request. I want to see what is the tests that I have added in my pull request and which are 
failures from my pull request, which are failures not from my pull request. And the same for the coverage, which is the code coverage of my pull request, and which is the pull uh, code coverage of the whole project, et cetera. Or I want to see which warnings are new in the pull request and which are from older builds. So this is basically the information I want to provide in a new view. So what we are trying with the student is to replace this build view with a new pull request view, a delta view, where each plugin can provide some kind of delta information, which is just relevant in a pull request. So this is the background and we are trying yeah, create this new view yeah, yeah, in a green field. Let's say we just created a new view and we want to have a trackable items where we can say, okay, I want warnings into this view. I want test results. I want coverage results or git commit results. And each plugin can contribute to this view and you can reorder them with drag and drop, etc. So this is something we are currently trying to develop. So if we have something to show, I will bring it with me. Currently, we have just some ideas. And yeah, I think it's important for our UI meeting. So maybe some others have ideas what would be interesting for such kind of pull request view. That I think that's brilliant. Okay, you didn't mention one of the gaps that has annoyed me for a long time is already at the very top of the screen where it says pull requests 11, PR-857. Yeah. 857. 857 has no meaning to me. If I could pretty please find a way to have that be text from the, from the, the pull request description or something more useful than... I love what you've described, the, the notion of a delta view showing me here are the things I changed and how they positively or negatively impacted coverage or tests. I, I, I love the idea. So I, I think this is a really a thing which is missing. Now I'm working with GitHub Actions in parallel and there you see just the information which is relevant to a pull request and the name, for instance, of the pull request or the number of comments from others, review comments, et cetera, which is, this is information which would be useful in Jenkins as well. Now, now as your students considering this, the, the SCM API presents an, an SCM interface for these kind of things. I, does it have a concept of a pull request? I think it does, or is maybe that's the branch API, but but yeah. is your student having to add new APIs as well? And is there is there a bigger picture that this possibly would would ask for a, a, a JEP to for discussion, or is it rather mostly UI? What are your what's your sense there? Well, uh, the problem is we have a strict timeline of three months for right. a bachelor thesis. So my idea was to make a, a kind of individual plugin which shows the possibilities and if we are finished with this bachelor thesis i think we can take this plugin discuss it with some other people and try to create some new apis from it so normally yeah it would be good to think about the apis first but i can't handle it in a bachelor thesis where we have a strict frame time frame and student needs to write text as well. So I think we are developing it in our small plugin first. And then if that is working out and looks good, we can take the next steps to provide it as a, a bigger thing in Jenkins. Well, and, and that, that sounds ideal as well. That sounds just great that fits well with the technique Tim used to develop a first prototype of pipeline visualization, right? He put something together and put it out and said, hey, let's talk about this thing. Yep. So that's, that's just great, absolutely. So it's kind of sandbox where we are now. And we 
I've done that in another approach as well, where we implemented the extension point in our plugin itself. So nobody, or we do not need to wait for pull requests and things like that. Excellent. And so uh, this I, this project, yeah, is, oh, go ahead, Damien. Yeah. Uh, uh, I have two questions that yeah. are more curiosity than something else. So the first one, is there a reason for not using the GitHub pull request view that uh, can be fed for, by Jenkins build using the checks API, meaning Jenkins during the different steps, like when it uh, gathered the test results, the trends, then you could add back a comment or a check content uh, on the pull request view. So the information about that pull request will be viewed on GitHub pull requests and not on Jenkins side. Is there a reason? Uh, I don't know. Do we have a pull request view in Jenkins? No, it's on GitHub. Oh. The idea is that uh, Jenkins connect back to GitHub. Um, okay, we already have it on GitHub, right? Okay. But but GitHub is uh, only a static UI, and here in Jenkins we can have a a, a nice UI with uh, JavaScript, drag and drop, and what we are planning is, I'm not sure if I remember the name correctly. <clears throat> Let's see if I find it now. Oh, the goal is you want to have so, so where dynamic we can, information, okay. Yeah. And we want to have it in a UI with JavaScript and everything, which is here static. And I want to say, for instance, I don't want to see these reports, then I click on X and it's away. And if I want to add them again, I click add portlet. Okay. So oh, it's nice. kind of dashboard. Uh, custom dashboard to customize the view yeah. per, okay. And, and per, we, is it per user is my understanding correct? Meaning for the, a given job, two different user might want to see two different things on the same pull request of the same yeah. job. Okay, yeah, currently we, oh, okay. we will- That's we, the we'll, point. We will Perfect. start with a, a common setup for everybody and we can change that per user. Interesting. And if that is working out good, uh, we can use the same concepts for the build page as well, or for the job view, the drag and drop support where we can, because this is something which is horrible now that we have these charts on the right side and I have so many left space here in the middle. So I want to drag and drop these charts where they have place. And this is a library we want to introduce in this new view, but this library can be used in this view as well. Oh, that's really interesting. That's really a, a big shift on the, the way Jenkins used to show things. Because my second question that you answered, by the way, was about the configuration of the job. Could it handle when you use job DSL, for instance? But in fact, it's not the point. Your point is, that it's per user, meaning user will want to, it's a bit like the favorites in Blue Ocean, but way more powerful because it's a custom dashboard. Yeah. Mm, nice, that's really nice. Thanks for so, the answer, it's clear. Yeah, okay, any other questions? I would, I, certainly, I'm sure if, if I'm not the one who asks it, others will. When can we first see a prototype? This sounds really cool. Are we are we weeks or months away from a prototype? What, what would you oh, like to do? Um, I've already seen a prototype uh, of the drag and drop without content. So what we have is a check style box, a find box, box where we can drag and drop. This is already working. Uh, the, the only thing is this is not an extension point with real content. It's just the drag and drop is already working. So, and I have a meeting with my student tomorrow. So hopefully it is still working <laughs> and maybe we can have a prototype in the yeah, next meeting of in, in a month or so where we can see if it's at least something we can show. That's excellent. Thank you. That's great. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Uli, on the on the pull request viewing? The, the, this this fills me with optimism. That's really great. Yeah, 
no more details so far. Okay. So in an earlier session, Uli, you and Damien and I had discussed, uh, one of the topics you had mentioned was that you've learned that it helps your students and others contribute to the Warnings NG plugin if you provide them a dedicated pre-configured development environment. And you've got a repository that tracks that. And my thought was, I'd love to have a Jenkins online meetup just doing a question and answer session where um, let you, uh, I would open it, say, welcome, we're grateful here, and then have you give a brief overview and then let me ask you questions and probably have Oleg ask you questions as well so that, so that we just have a, a dialogue about your environment setup and what it has helped and, and what things you've found as barriers, strengths, and weaknesses. Would that be okay for you? Yeah, that would be fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so I will send it. Usually, it takes us one to two. It it typically takes us two weeks to get an abstract approved and a date scheduled. So it would probably be early May before we would do it. Um, I'll yep. certainly copy you on the abstract, but plan on me sending that within the next say two or three days. By end of this week, I should have that sent. Okay, that's fine. Great, excellent. making notes. Okay. So then the next topic was uh, pending user experience changes. And Tim Jacome notes he doesn't have capacity right now to do further work on it. What he was doing was adding changes to the UI that were outside of forms, but still using tables for layout, that they need to be transitions to divs. And he started the initial proposal but right now he's he's not got the time to keep driving it forward. So my hunch right now is it will probably pause. Uh, that's that's okay. I think that's reasonable. And then we hopefully will have time to pick it up in the future to look further at what can we do with more places to transition from tables to divs. He, he also had the pipeline visualization plugin demo that I haven't done anything with yet. And one of my first actions now is I need to get that installed on my system and start playing with it. Others, others I think would benefit from the same. Anything else on pending UX changes? I don't think so. Okay. Next topic then, Damien was on multiple pipelines for a multi-branch job. You had a concept. Do you wanna share with us what the current state is? Mm -hmm. So I was uh, in, uh, in holidays since last time, so I did not have much time. However, I've asked uh, more Jenkins users on the area I work for, so I, can, I still can be influencing them by my biases, of course. Uh, but our, all the, the, the users I ask or discuss with were really happy. Uh, of the concept of uh, multiple pipeline per repository, even if the implementation is multiple, uh, way more jobs per multi-branch, but uh, everyone is not able to go back after trying this on GitHub Actions because it allows to have simpler pipelines with different life cycle. So the, uh, everyone agreed on the, the benefits of that. The thing is that now, uh, I. Uh, the next goal is still uh, I need to go on a SIG pipeline and ask for that. Um, yeah. So it hasn't changed yet since last time, except the way more uh, user that could potentially be interested, which validates some of the initial assumptions. Oh, Mark, I think you are muted. Right. Sorry. I should press that button. Thanks very much. So. Further discussions will continue and, and we, we continue learning. That feels great. Any other topics we should cover before we close today? It looks like Diraj was, has dropped off. Uli needed to exit. Damien, I believe we're done. Anything else? That's all for me. All right, thanks. Let's call an well, end. Thanks, Recording Mark. should thanks, be available Uli. shortly. Thanks, Uli.